Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about the Dunes commemorative poker chip set. First, we always like to deal a hand of Texas Hold'em, and there's a reason for this. <laughs> Every one of these videos I want to be standalone, so make similar points here. If you're at home, grab two cards off of your deck at home. Tell us all what you have, especially if it's interesting. We're kind of short on space here. I'm going to try to condense this. We'll turn. Oh, wow, that's already looking awfully flushy. And a jack to finish it off. One of the reasons why I do that is usually most people will focus on the cards in play rather than the chips. Did you guys notice that just now? If you're new, I hope that might help with your poker chip purchase decision. And that's why I'm here. Educate, help you guys make a wise purchase decision. Now, quick history before I jump into the usual topics I discuss. Let me spread some of these out so you can see all the different interesting denominations. This is a Dunes commemorative set. Now, those of you not familiar, Dunes was a casino in Las Vegas where currently sits the Bellagio. I think I have a Bellagio chip, a couple of Bellagio chips kicking around here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, that's what Steve Wynn purchased and built the lovely Bellagio, right? Now the Dunes always interested me because it was a really shiny black, really modern looking casino. And, you know, as a kid growing up, that was something that always caught my eye. And there's rumors that it was run by some good fellas, if you guys follow my movie reference. People you don't want to upset, all right? So that said, just because of the name, we're going to be careful here. I don't want to wake up tomorrow with a horse's head in my bed. Again, it's a movie reference. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. I, I love horses. I'm not, you know, condoning any sort of violence towards horses. So... Here's what you're getting. These are some of the denominations. You'll notice there's a blue one, five. We'll talk about design here in a little bit. Now, as far as discussions go, first thing I always talk about is quality control. Now, there are some interesting things about these chips. Uh, you'll notice right here. It looks like a piece of plastic from the manufacturing process got stuck underneath this inlay. Now, that actually sticks out enough it affects flatness. So when you rock these back and forth, you can see... Uh, they're not perfectly flat. And it seems to me that these are very average when it comes to flatness. Actually, these fives are pretty good. Uh, one other way to check flatness is just to spin it like this. Where there's very little contact, usually you'll see those spin. Now, um, other quality control things that you'll notice, uh, they have sharp edges. Unlike China clay, these are more akin to like a Paulson style chip. Do I have some kicking around here? Here are some Paulson Classic 25s right here. And these, you know, have very similar edges. However, it's a different, obviously, material. So the edges themselves are actually very clean. There are a couple of chips that I've noticed where they have a mild, rough edge. Now, China, these are made in China. Uh, the person who is responsible for these chips and this machinery has probably been executed by now if their superior has seen this video. So if you if you work at the factory, replace that machinery quickly, okay? Get, get this squared away. You can see this one right here has a little bit of dirt on it. That might just be... I doubt that's from me playing with it. I It's been pretty clean here on my table, so... I don't know. I just barely noticed that. Now, other things we look for in quality controls, weight, width, and thickness. I'll throw all that information up just uh, between these two stacks, the ones and the fives, because these are the ones I have stacks of, so I can measure those things and compare the two. And what we're looking for is uh, egregious mistakes when it comes to thickness or quality control issues when it comes to thickness or weight or width. And I didn't find any of that. This is a very serviceable deck. Uh, I'm also, yeah, I'm pretty impressed that they got the stamping here. It says dunes right here. And there isn't a lot of flashing or excess material that causes these not to be flat. Just in general, it's a pretty impressive deck for what it is. 
something else that I've noticed with this, these next gen, this, that's what this is. They call them true clay. They call them various other things. But with this next gen material, I've noticed that chips <laughs> with this next gen material sometimes have other quality control issues like the next gen pro gen. They came with some inlays missing. I don't know if that was just my set, but this was a couple years ago. The Dune set, I have not seen any of that. So quality control is the very, very average, maybe slightly above average, but we're going to give them an average rating. And the second thing we always talk about is design. Now, <laughs> this is a lovely... Now, again, I'm not just saying this because of the people who ran the Dunes. And, we, you know, I don't even know. It's an alleged thing. But <laughs> don't want, you know, somebody to break my hands. This was back in the good old days when you didn't cheat because you didn't want to leave the casino in a wheelchair, right? Now it's just, oh, they're going to ask you to leave and you might get a citation or something for like nuisance behavior or something really mild. Uh, this was back in the serious days of Las Vegas casinos, right? So the design on these is absolutely lovely. Now, I like the blue ones. Some people won't. The I believe the next gen pro gen have white ones. And you can see here the 500s are white and the next gen pro gens are pink okay so if you're not a fan of the blue ones you might want to avoid these chips however i really like that and the colorations are similar to the pro gen like if you look at the 100s here you can see they went with the watermelon pink and green edge spots again it looks a little brighter on the dunes doesn't it and as far as like the inlays go they have this kind of faux progression so you look at the one, nice round, and then you look at the five and you have this chrysanthemum, very asteraceae-like flowery curves, the rounded curves on the outside. And then you progress to the 25, which has the sharper progression right here. Can you see that? And again, this is just colors printed on the sticker inlay. So it's not like a Paulson top hat and cane where the progression is actually molded into the chip. Again, these are discontinued. I just, you know, need something to compare it to. And then you move up to the 100 cog wheel. The 1000 has the little quad semicircles right here. And then the rest are just circular inlays, nothing really that special. But I love it that there is some progression. And because of that progression, it really encourages me, if I were to purchase a set of these, to stick with the 100 to 500 denominations just because of those progressions. I love that. So you get the 5, the 25, the 100 progressions for the sticker inlays. So design, I would say this is above average. This, For the price that you're getting these and the quality being very average, I'm really impressed with the design. Like I much prefer this, this Dune stamping right here, this Dunes stamping over the, uh, we call, <laughs> some of my friends call it the the P ness, right? So there's the P with the arrow underneath it sticking out like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice reference right there. So you know, I like these a lot more than the Pro Gen. Now I tout these as a great travel set, but are these nice enough to persuade me to recommend these? Well, let's keep uh, <laughs> trudging through this discussion. So with you know quality control average and design slightly above average it falls to materials kind of mixed in with durability right so materials is this next gen material and you guys know from my previous videos maybe if you guys are subscribed please subscribe if you haven't that some of these chips i just break with my fingers right this is the roman times if you want go watch that video i just grab a chip and i'm going to do it right here and i break them on camera if i can and again, this is not, wow, that's actually pretty tough. Can you see the circle marks on my fingers here? All right, so that five did not break. <laughs> well, when in doubt, try again here. Let's try the one. Yeah, all right, so I cannot break these with my fingers. Wow, so actually, although it feels like a next-gen material, it's actually very durable. I would imagine with the square edges, they may wear slowly, but, you know, I imagine these would last you a very long time. 
It's my one concern is the longevity of these sticker inlays. Again, you might be able to get replacements for those. No idea. Uh, design, by the way, I should mention, it does say commemorative right here. Commemorative dunes. Hotel and country club. Doesn't say casino, though. Very, very interesting. Now, durability and you know, all of that, I would say is slightly above average, just based on what, <laughs> what I'm feeling in my fingers right now from trying to break these chips. Very durable. So if you're happy with everything you see, you know, we need to talk about other competitive options and the segment as a whole. Now, it gets <laughs> this is where it gets really complicated. Um, I have people that roll into my videos all the time and say, like, I always recommend China clays. You know, they have really smooth edges, no, you know, flashing, no metal inserts. So they have a really great casino weight. They're very reasonable for what you're paying for them, right? These are some Milanos. Uh, there are other options like, like Majestics, right? But then I get people who roll in and are just like, yeah, right, I'm not going to spend that kind of money on it. I want to buy something like this, right? Some ABS, metal insert, 14 and a half grams, that, which is way heavier than a real casino chip, plastic poker chips, and this is all they want, right? They want a number on there so you don't get their drunk friend. Hey, what are the, what are the, you know, like, for example, the dice chips. Let me grab some right here. Sorry, I think I just bumped the tripod. Like these right here, these dice chips, right? You always get some drunk guy who's like, the red one, what's the red one worth again? All right, what's the green one worth? And like every hand, you're just like, come on. You know, so, you know, all people really want, some people, is a denomination and a chip that has some weight to it. Done. You know, they'll get these and, you know, I support them in that. Any, if, you, if I helped you make that decision, you know, you saw what's available out here and you said, all right, we're going to go with the cheapest one. I'm fine with that. You know, if you've been to Vegas and you want to, to capture a little bit of that magic, this might actually be a really good set because it refers to Dunes, which was actually a casino in Las Vegas commemorative right here it's a lovely lovely kind of throwback set it may cost you a little bit more all right maybe <laughs> maybe twice as much i purchased these from apache poker chips here they actually sent this with the set i don't tell that i don't get anything free for them from them they just have great customer service so i buy poker chips from them yes i actually buy these so that's where i'd recommend you go to get these go to apache poker chips they have some other options, though, besides just these. They also have a Pioneer set, which is also a commemorative set of another <laughs> interesting Las Vegas casino. We'll make a video about that. But, you know, this is another interesting set. Uh, the colors are a little bit different, maybe a little bit more reserved. I'm a very loud, flamboyant kind of guy. If you're maybe more of a reserved person, you might want to look at these Pioneer commemorative chips. And again, there's not really that fake, that faux progression on the inlays like I was showing you with the cog and stuff. They're all just very similar inlays, which give you a nice harmonious continuity across the whole set. Am I just making up words now? Maybe I am. Now, if you're not interested in the next-gen material, obviously, you know, they have the next-gen Progen, which I've mentioned. Um, they have the Roman Times. I'm not super thrilled about those, but, you know, those are an option. You can move up or down. So if you're going to move up, you may want to look at some China clay chips, right? Majestics are a reasonable option. Milanos are readily available almost everywhere. Amazon, you name it. The one nice thing about Majestics is you can get some really sweet plaques with them. <laughs> yeah, they're very expensive. Uh, so uh, you might want to, you know, if you're going to do that, you're going to need the budget for it. But that's what, you know, some of the China clays bring. If you're going lower end, you know, Las Vegas Casino chips right here, very reasonable chips. They're okay. They have a little flashing, kind of some sharp edges. They're too heavy. Metal insert, not perfectly flat. You know the usual routine. I'm really happy with the Amazon, available on Amazon, Casino del Sol poker chips. As far as quality control goes, these are, I'll make a video about these. These are actually pretty good. There's not too many sharp edges. It's very reasonable. Um, I would steer clear of, you now this is an older purchase, Ace Casino poker chips. You know, sim you know, similarly priced, but they have lots of flashing. Can you see all this flashing, all this extra material that was left on the chip? And this is just a sample set of, you know, my 
couple of rolls I've purchased. So this isn't a huge sample set. If you actually have really good quality control on your Ace Casino chips, leave a comment. We'd love to hear that. But yeah, all of these chips are very affordable. These metal insert ABS chips. And that I would consider those just um, half a step, uh, slightly less expensive than these. And, you know, the, everything else is, you know, available. So we're going to roll into a sound test. I know sound is important to some people. My personal preference, and that's all it is, preference, is I don't mind the sound of chips clinking around during a game for hours. It doesn't make my ears bleed. One of the girls that we play with, she hates certain chips. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to specify which ones, just because she doesn't like the sound of them. So we're going to roll in some Paulson Classics. These are discontinued, I know, but... We're just going to use them as a sound test to represent uh, like Las Vegas chips, right? Because these are made by Paulson and these are made by Paulson. So let's see where we end up here. Let's do some ceramics. Oh, should we do two ceramics just to change things up? We'll do some China clays represented by Milano. And I'm missing something obvious here. Metal insert chips. We'll use the Las Vegas, what look like tourist trash chips. All right. Starting with the dunes here. These are scroll ceramic poker chips. Nevada Jack ceramic chips. Las Vegas ABS metal insert chip. And finally Milano China Clay. All right, I hope that helps somebody out there. Now, in conclusion, like I was saying before, would I recommend this set to friends, to my wonderful YouTube audience? Thank you guys so much, by the way, for the support. I really appreciate it. You guys make all of this possible. Now, if I were to buy a set of traveling chips, a set of my economy chips that I don't mind getting dirty, taking to a friend's house, leave, you know, putting it in the car, I would not purchase the Progens. These are this is my current travel set. I would have purchased the Dunes. All things considered. Yeah, I know there's a little bit more machining that goes into this. They have to stamp out Dunes. I, I mean, I understand that. But I this is the <laughs> this is a wonderful set of poker chips. I am super happy with this set. Uh, one interesting thing that this now I need a disclose this because this is a personal thing and everybody will vary but one of the reasons why I love this set is because of the romance of the Dunes Casino in Las Vegas and I mean that in the way of adventure right the people that ran that were not boring regardless of allegations about them being mafia <laughs> this was back in the scary days of Las Vegas and there's an air of excitement about this set just because it says dunes on it. That's why I'm, I love it. That's why it's interesting. It seems a little edgy. Now, some of you may not like that. Some of you may not want anything associated with any sort of allegations of anything. You might just want some clean cut. Look at this beautiful scroll ceramic chip, plain, simple, no history there. It's just a chip. It does its job. Okay. But for me, I like these. I think these are really interesting. And that influences my decision. As far as quality control, yeah, the quality control, you know, on the progens may have improved over the last two years, or has it been three years? Man, I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to find a good set of poker chip for a long, long time here. Um, I still feel like I'm looking. Okay, so I may actually order a complete set of these dunes, but what about the Pioneer Club right here? Like I was saying, um, it's not really my style the pioneer club we'll talk about quality control and all that other stuff in a separate video but these are the ones that really jump out at me as being interesting as capturing what i'm trying to capture in a set of poker chips an affordable set of poker chips uh, would i say if okay now i'm talking to people in the future so when paulson comes out with some consumer grade chips again for whatever, you know, whatever reason they they stopped production would i rec would i say these are better than paulson like the old paulson's definitely not Definitely not. These are 
these are kind of right now straddling the middle class, the economy class, business class, coach class, you know, if you're using an airline reference, they're, they're bridging that gap, right? They're kind of right in between. Oh, we don't want the super cheap plastic. Nah, we don't really want to buy a China clay set with matching plaques. And we don't want to buy anything high end and we don't like the sound of ceramics. Those are a lot of stipulations. Then you have this wonderful set of dunes. And that's kind of where my recommendation would go to people in that boat, which may not be a large number of you. So if you have any doubts, um, narrow it down. I can't answer every, I try to do my best to answer questions, but I get a lot of questions. Like, what would you choose? Would you choose this set or this set? I can't <laughs> answer that for everybody. So glean information off of what I'm telling you here. If you really like the dunes and you like what I'm telling you about them, order a sample set and then you'll f wake up with a horse's head in your bed. I'm kidding, okay? <laughs> so order a sample set and compare it to whatever else you're interested in. Uh, another great bet would be the Milanos. Let's see if we can make some space here so all of this will fit on camera. The Milanos, again, I don't, I should roll out the sample set, but I, I'm just gonna do this. The Milanos are a great option. Uh, I would also, if you're looking for something really discount and you're looking to save as much money as possible, you may just order a roll of these cheap ABS chips and you can compare the quality right there for not too much money. Like I said, uh, you can purchase these from Apache Poker Chips. I don't get anything from them. I just like their customer service. So I hope that helps somebody out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe.